Hey there guys and gals, Alfonso Elm here and yes, you caught me, I was doing a bit of sketching because after the results of our previous video, I I really need some practice. Anyways, this today's video will be a little bit different in that I'll be actually inking a sketch that I worked on a couple of days ago. I forgot to actually record the sketch but you'll be you'll be able to see me embarrass myself trying to get this inking done. This is a recipe for disaster. Anyways, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the show. Wow, going guys and gals. Alfonso Elm here. Wait, I already did this. In fact, I think I messed it up in the video. How do you mess up your own intro? Anyways, what you're seeing here is me go through and ink a sketch that I did a few days ago. Uh, if you've been following me for any time, you know that I am not comfortable using pens and markers and doing inking on a whole. Not in a traditional manner, at least. So I decided, you know, let me try something a little different. Let me do something that I'm not completely comfortable with. Ooh, before I forget, this entire video, I recorded it in silence. While I was drawing, I was completely silent. And there was this one part in the video where I messed up. And in fact, wait, let me slow this down so you can actually see or hear rather. Uh. <laughs> yeah so i messed up on the nose and that was the one sound i made throughout the entire what was it uh, about 10 15 minutes or so yeah so <laughs> thought you guys would want to would like to hear that anyways as an artist, I have discovered that the best way, one of the best ways to really improve your art, other than practice, is by doing things that you're uncomfortable with, using mediums that you're uncomfortable with. You know, um, as I mentioned, I do not like using ink at all which is why I force myself to do Inktober every year because I know that by doing this, by tackling things that I'm uncomfortable with, I actually improve on the things that I am comfortable with. For example, my sketching. Yes, so as you see, I'm going through here doing quite a bit of just working on the details, you know, I, I worked on the occlusion and the shadows a little earlier. I actually loved, and when I say love, I mean loved the way that this turned out in the end. Um, and you'll see in a bit that I actually just used regular office supplies. I didn't go for, I didn't have any really fancy schmancy art stuff. Unless you count my Pentel pencil, which costs like $5. <laughs> I think things about five bucks on Amazon. So yeah, you know, there if you want to get better, there really is no excuses. None whatsoever. You just have to put in the work. Just be willing to put in the work and improve. Oh, as you can see, I completely messed up the shading here. And no amount of trying actually fixed it, but hey. Es la vida. Actually, I think it gave it a little bit of uh, character. <laughs> the messy shading. The messy quote-unquote cross hatching. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you do, please just drop me a comment. Hit me a like. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do. And until next time, walk good.
Ah.